checkerboarding on the new powerful true 4K Xbox One X. Jim Ryan, the marketing manager at Sony, has been insulting gamers this month. First, by dismissing retro gaming, belittling PS3 and 360 era games, in my opinion, the best era, and slighting those that are paying for PS Now. Now Jim Ryan has been asked point blank if Sony is worried about being outperformed on multi-plat games, with games looking better on the Xbox One X. Here, Jim Ryan defended parody. He said, That's a perfectly commercially rational approach for you to take, because you only do one set of work to get up to one level and then a different amount of work, consequently may need to go further. Jim Ryan is making a calculated anti-gamer and anti-consumer statement here. He is implying that devs will follow the common denominator. Look at 2013 to 2017. PS4 got the better version of games because Xbox One wasn't as powerful. Now that Xbox One X is the more powerful console, PS4 isn't the lowest common denominator. It is the common denominator. 60 million consoles and the media is eating out of Sony's greedy little hands. I think you're trying to see some sort of nefarious platform holder activity where likely none exists. Jim Ryan isn't worried about games looking inferior on Sony's console because he believes that devs will prioritize the time and money saving over creative vision. Marketing forces will prevail. If a developer or a publisher wants to take advantage of the supposed power of the Xbox X, they will do that. If they don't, they won't. First of all, see how he said supposed? Moron doesn't acknowledge that the Pro is some 43% behind the power curve of the Xbox One X. And second of all, pompous marketing dude, he doesn't have a clue what Universal Windows platform is. If these devs are creating their game on a PC, they have the tools to port the game to Xbox One X and take advantage of the supposed power. If this is true, then the first party Xbox One X titles are the only games that stand a chance at true 4K. Well, apparently not because according to Turn 10, Forza 7 is running at 4K 60 with 30% surplus VRAM left over. But will third party devs spend the extra time on a PS4 and Xbox One game to get the best version of each? They didn't in the past four years when games ran at 900p on the Xbox One. Our first example is yesterday's Sandstorm, that is Assassin's Creed Origins. Digital Foundry picked apart the game footage and the internet flipped tables over because Digital Foundry discovered the game to be running at a dynamic 4K. But no one paid attention when they said, and I quote, We extracted a few shots and found a 2160p result in all cases. Dynamic 4K dropping from 2160p for frame rate stability. This is a huge difference from the PS4 Pro, which takes an 1800p image and upscales it 62.5%. If an Xbox One X game starts at native 4K and drops from there to keep a steady frame rate, that's a good thing. I saw this quote on Reddit talking about AC Syndicate on PC. I play Syndicate on a 1080 Ti overclocked heavily at 1440p. I get 45 to 55 FPS in the most demanding view of the entirety of London, and Xbox thinks it can do it in 4K Ultra. He's playing an older Assassin's Creed game and look how demanding it is on PC. And we're expecting Origins to run at 4K Ultra 60 frames per second? Devs, Sony, and Microsoft have been brainwashed by pixel counting console fanboys. Brainwashed into thinking that gamers want resolution over faster, more vibrant frame rates. You champions of checkerboard running at 30 FPS don't realize is that meanwhile PC gamers were enjoying almost every game at 1080p 60. 
Games like The Surge offer a 4K mode and a performance mode, and I think the developers need to come up with a standardized console setting. When you go into a game on a console, you basically get one setting, brightness, but I think they need to add in there UHD mode and performance mode. This is what we should be rallying for on the new consoles. When you look at all of the games that have come out the past year, can't you see that devs think this is how we want our games? Locked at 30 at the highest resolution possible? Can the PS4 Pro do 1800p60 or even 1080p60? No, not with the lower bandwidth, RAM and CPU. But should Xbox One owners get a gimped game because PS4 Pro is 43% less powerful? Should Assassin's Creed Origins get stunted because there are two times more PS4s out there on the planet? Meanwhile, Microsoft has clarified that it wants to build a base game parity across all Xbox One's and PC configurations, providing options for those with more powerful PCs and graphics hardware to really push games to the limit. This is the opposite of Sony's attitude. They sit and enjoy the perks of being the top console to get the best looking games before, and now not having to worry about having subpar games if devs are going to cater to the common denominator. I make these videos because I want gaming better. I don't want PC gamers whining that consoles should never exist, and I don't want console gamers wishing their competitor went out of business. We want Xbox One X to be successful, so Sony will work harder and developers will push the limits of how games can look for everyone. This is Colt Eastwood. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, if you didn't get mad, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more. If you noticed anything new about my channel, good job. Add me on Twitter, add me on Xbox Live, add me on Mixer, all those are at Colt Eastwood. I hope you guys are okay with this news getting out kind of late, but this is something I wanted to say no matter what. I'm sure more of this will unravel as the Xbox One is ready to take the stage in November, but until then, I will see you guys next week on the next video. Have a good one.